we've revived it, we've brought it back, we've said all that already. But 18 cars for your WA modified sedans over 25 laps. The South Coast Classic back in Albany and it's underway. And the South Coast Classic looks like it would only last to the start finish line for Shane Britton as he is all out of noise. What a run from Peter Fraser. Blows the doors off with a great start. So does Clinton Oaks and sadly it's Jared Rick that has missed out on everything at the moment. The outside front row starter is back to six and Sam McCauley in the wall very hard and all. Clinton Thayer had nowhere to go with a stationary 25 right there. Goes straight to the inquiry bay. He got the thumbs up but he's going to continue on but McCauley, car number 29, here is a replay of what happened. Noakes was on the inside of him. It looks like they've just both drifted up high and it has broken the right front. Peter Fraser has got Matt Noakes right on his back bumper. There was no love lost between these two. In the heat race where they battled and there's no love between Jared Rick or Matt Noakes, you could see as well as Noakes was quickly up into position number three. Laurie downs it as well to the inside of Jared Rick. And Luke Fraser wants to come play as well. Six cars all in a line. The 51 for eighth and ninth. Paul Stevens up to eighth place in the Stevens ceilings holding corner while Anthony King goes to the back of the, of the top ten. Meanwhile, Earth's getting really racy for third. So racy, Matt Noakes and a big excursion on the infield. And Jared Rick, sadly, after being so quick, you just saw then, is slowing dramatically along the back straight. There's action of plenty in this feature race, and we've only completed the opening seven laps at the moment. As Dowson tries and holds. Last night's hard charger at bay. We've got a battle back for the race lead. Noakes has been able to get Fraser off the curb and right ahead of them, Shane Devonshire, who's about to go a lap down, has helped Noakes right to a tee. Noakes found the right place to be. He's up, but Fraser isn't going to say die. Just wondering, that last event, he got quicker as the race went on, maybe. He's just saving his stuff, but last night's winner with 11 laps completed is the now the man up top, Albie Van Dongen in the 11 machine. Be petrified at the moment. Watching how quick cars are going past him as our three leaders are all in tow at the moment. It's a Fraser sandwich with Clint leading, Peter Fraser second. And third place, Matt Noakes has found his way back into the fray of this one. He's just down a shot at the present stage, but it is getting bottom dominant. And Noakes knows he cannot leave the door open for too long. Luckily, Merv Penn and Adam Housen are running the top side of the racetrack. That has allowed a clear lane for Clint Noakes. You know, as a leader, you don't want to beat the one trying to navigate lap competitors, especially when you've got two hard challenges right behind him. But he did it easy last night to take the win. Right now, he's got clear mind and a clear sign ahead of him as it's a good 100 metres between himself and Anthony King, who's running on the top side of the race track yet again. So that could be comfortable. This has a problem. Right on the entrance of turn number two, He's made a blunder. And all that hard work is all for naught yet again. Like a yo-yo for poor car number 20. And he's right in the thick of it. Douse it with five to go right on the challenge. He is indeed. He's trying to get himself into the top three as Albany's Laurie Douse it in the 14 Ford Falcon. He looks to the inside of Matt Noakes. He might have got it done as they exit turn number four to our leaders, that being Clint Noakes. In the Glenbrae trucking number three Commodore. Peter Fraser has not given up on taking out 
the South Coast Classic in 2024. In fact, the Civil Horrings Falcon is starting to close on Clint Noakes. They race their way into Pitts Corner once again, and the uh, Zero Falcon just looks to the inside as they exit to number four and hustle down the front straight in front of the Auto One Bar into turn number one. Great battle for third, fourth, and fifth. Douse it. Matt Noakes in the 15 of Luke Fraser. He's had some work to do in this main event after a uh, tough run in the heat races of this year's South Coast Classic. One lap to run of Atwell Park for Clint Noakes. Can he, in fact, make that two laps to run of Atwell Park for Clint Noakes? He's got Peter Fraser knocking on the door and he's got a little bit of lap traffic to work with in front of him at the moment. Those being Paul Stevens and Adam Housen who gets right out of the way. The experienced campaigner is Adam Housen. Here comes the white flag. One to run. Can Peter Fraser use the lap traffic to his advantage? They race their way to turn number two for the final time and down the back straight. Matt Noakes, Dowsett and Luke Fraser still battling for third, fourth and fifth. But out of turn four for the last time, back-to-back -back feature race wins here in Albany on the long weekend. The big Clinton Oaks from Peter Fraser. Laurie Dowsett got Matt Noakes, who looks like he's had a suspension failure on the left rear of the 20 coming to the line. In fact, it might just be a flat left rear tyre. On And put your hands together for the driver of car number three, Clint Noakes, and a pair of Ford Falcons on the podium. And uh, Peter Fraser and Laurie Dowse, you can see a little bit of a war wound for uh, Peter Fraser on the right front guard. The Valvoline backed entry.